Protective safeguards. The phrase kind of makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, like no harm can come to you. But what does it mean exactly in our wacky insurance world? To clarify, protective safeguards is an endorsement added to an insurance policy. But as an insured, you don't want this endorsement. Zero out of five stars. Do not recommend. As an agent, you don't want a carrier requiring this for policy issuance. This is one of those situations where the actual intent of something is the opposite of what it sounds like. The protective safeguards endorsement adds a condition to an insurance policy that requires that protective safeguards listed on the policy are maintained and in working order and are actively engaged or on. You also must notify the carrier if any suspension or impairment of those safeguards occurs. The list of protective safeguards could include an automatic sprinkler system, automatic fire alarm, security services, etc. There are a few more specifics to this endorsement, but I won't go over the entire endorsement with you right now. I wouldn't want to deprive anyone of a chance to read their insurance policy. I'm just giving you a quick summation of the endorsement, but essentially, if you don't comply with these conditions, any loss by fire would not be covered by the policy. There's also the Burglary and Robbery Protective Safeguard Endorsement, which acts similarly to the Protective Safeguard Endorsement, with the exception of applying to theft losses. This endorsement requires the named insured to maintain and have actively engaged protective safeguards and or services against theft and suspends theft coverage if the insured fails to comply with these conditions. For example, let's say an employee, we'll call him Will, Will works in an office that has a security system that requires a passcode when entering the building in the morning. Well, Will is very forgetful and constantly forgets the passcode, making him annoyed and angry. One night, after working late, he decides he doesn't want to set the alarm because he doesn't want to feel foolish for forgetting yet another passcode. Will has willfully not engaged the security safeguard. That night, two people robbed the office. Well. Will still ended up feeling foolish, as the claim is not covered because the security system was not engaged. How could you, Will? This is just another example of insurance policies and terms creating confusion and not keeping it simple. See what I did there? That's why as a consumer, it's important to have an agent to help walk you through situations like this, and just as important for agents to continually educate themselves and make sure they have a clear understanding of how insurance policies work. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more content like this, visit our website. Thanks for watching.